Hey guys, what's up? It is another episode of Car Talk, and today it's gonna be a serious one. So if you're looking for a more fun, exciting one, you should probably just go to one of the other ones. Uh, but I wanna talk about something very serious that's near and dear to me because I work at an undisclosed facility where I deal with rehab patients. Um, and a lot of times they're older individuals that have went through their whole life and so you know it's cool to hear their stories and they're in there because like their diabetes caught up to them they had a stroke or you know they're just not healthy their joints are bothering them they're trying to learn to walk again um, and those those things are sad but what really gets to you um, and the last time I worked the last day I worked actually I was really emotional is when you see the younger people that were living a normal life um, have say a kid and a wife and uh, something really bad happens to them and they're now in recovery and they will never be the same again um, and that happens a lot when I work in more of our stroke and TBI section of the rehab facility uh, so what that brings me to and I want to make this more real for you um, by sharing this and without disclosing any of the patients that we have in our facility um, is you're not guaranteed tomorrow and I think a lot of people make grand plans um, in, in a good way sometimes you know we talk about planning for goals and like the future and like getting better it does take time but you're not living in the moment enough like you say all right well you know when I'm 30 years old um, I'm gonna have this and this and when I'm you know 40 I can travel more um, but what you'll realize as you age, you know, I'm 31 years old now and honestly <laughs> I used to think that I would be the same as I was at 21, but unfortunately that's just not true. Um, and I'm healthy, like I'm a healthy individual besides a few minor, you know, aches and pains that I have from working out and, you know, racing BMX when I was a kid, you know, and I'm back in school with, with younger people and I, I see them and I'm like, man, you just have no idea what it's going to be like when you're my age. But anyways, going back to it, is we take for granted the, the ability to be able to walk around, to be able to drive like I am to work today, to be able to use this cell phone, um, to be able to walk across the road. A great example, you know, we had somebody that was a patient um, walking across the road, got hit. It wasn't anybody's fault. They can't walk, talk. Um, they have a, so they have children, um, somebody at home that was depending upon them, and now they won't be able to do any of those things. And that person was not much older than me. And when you hear these stories and see this in real life, it just, it makes it more real. It makes it, it makes you realize that tomorrow's not guaranteed. And I don't mean to say that in a way that should make you sad at all. I just want you to take advantage of what you have now and be thankful and grateful for it. Not in a godly way, not in anything. Just be thankful that you're here. You're able to do the things that you are um, and take advantage of it. You know, like if you want to travel, I just did my last uh, video was on traveling and how you can do it cheap. And um, I want to do more videos like that because that's one of the greatest things that I've done. Um, is taking advantage of getting out there and seeing the world and seeing different places than where I'm from um, But you can't wait until you're retired or you know your life is lined up perfectly because there is no time Where it's lined up perfectly. I can promise you that You have to take advantage of those situations and find somebody that will go with you if you really want to go I promise you will make the funding happen. I promise you will have the time you just have to find a place that it works and the most important thing that you'll realize too, and this goes right with what I'm doing as far as work and what I'm talking about here and also traveling, is that some of the best people you'll meet are when you're out there traveling and you see that common goal, but you're from two totally different places and you connect and you're like, wow, I, you know, a day ago didn't know that you existed and now like we're here sharing you know beers and talking about stories and we're from two different parts of the world um, and for me that experience was worth more than even seeing everything it was about connecting with those people all over the world it's better than social media if you think this is cool and you like you know seeing people from different parts of the world on YouTube 
go travel and you'll see that. So I didn't want this to be a plug about traveling, but that's a great example, like taking advantage of it because there is no guarantee that, you know, I'll make it to work today driving down the road, something could happen. There's an oil tanker right in front of me right now. You know, there's a million things that could go wrong right there. Um, but take advantage of it. Be thankful for what you have. Um, reflect on what you can do to make the world a better place and start trying to do that. Um, and I'm not talking about recycling or you know, becoming a teacher, I'm talking about what you can do to make your community a better place. Uh, and if we're talking about fitness, because this is mostly fitness related stuff, getting to know the people that are around you in your gym, you know, supporting your local uh, fitness professionals or, you know, your local supplement store, low plug, ours here, Extreme Body Nutrition, those guys are awesome. Uh, you know, we try to support them, they're like family. And that whole thing wrapped up, being thankful, having friends, uh, communicating, traveling, that will make what you're doing now awesome. But just remember, no matter what you do, you're not guaranteed tomorrow, so be grateful on that note.